Hi, Forrest Selby here with Firehill Group. I'm here today to give you a quick review of the KW Realty app. It's the app that I have, it's the app that I use, and 100% full disclosure, I am a KW agent, Keller Williams agent, and this app, particular app is branded to me, so you'll see my name in throughout that, and your experience will be a little bit different depending on how and who you uploaded or whether or not you selected an agent. That aside, uh, there are more reasons other than I'm just a Keller Williams agent that I like to use this app. So let's get right into it. First by just clicking on, on the app itself, you can see where you get on the home page. This is one of my favorite features of it, and that is this start page. I like this because it's very, very simple. It's nice big buttons, it's easy to navigate. I really only have two screens to deal with. And there you see the second half of it there with some mortgage calculator, some accounts, my agent app help. But to be honest, I really don't use that portion of it very often. I pretty much stick to this right here. Now, the one of the best features about this app is its uh, location in that if you have your location enabled for your phone, it'll tell you where you are and it'll give you the uh, results will be around where you are according to the uh, GPS in your phone. So when you click on nearby homes like I'm about to do, you click on that and it gives the list first and foremost of those houses that are in your immediate area. And this is all accurate, all these are right around you can uh, see where I am right now. Uh, I'm at home in our office and these are the listings that are currently available. Some of them are in our neighborhood and some of them are just outside of it. But I like that other feature that's up on the top right hand corner uh, the, where the little folded map that's where I like to go first because so once you get here now you can see specifically on the map exactly where we are and I'm that pretty blue beacon uh, that is glowing right there now here's some of the benefits that, some of my other favorite features with this is the draw feature you'll see that up on the top right hand side there the particular draw feature is that it's very very simple it's a one click so I'm going to do now. Then you can draw any shape that you want and be as creative with it as you like. And it automatically finds the homes that are within that particular neighborhood. To redo it, just hit the draw button again and now you can do another shape. And it, it's very, very simple, very, very easy to use. And then to save it, all you have to do is click down on the bottom right, save this search, and it'll save that parameter. Now why that draw tool is, is particularly important and I will show you this is let's just say for instance that I would like to keep all of the places that I'm looking for on this side of Loyalty Road and that side of Stumptown Road to include Mountain View and down there. Let's just say I have two borders there because the elementary school changes across the street for instance. Uh, those on the, on the other side of the street are going to end up going to a different elementary school let's say. Okay, so some of the other quick features on there is the uh, locate button, which is right at the top. Now, when you click that, it goes right back to your center location where you are currently. So if you're scrolling around the map, that's that bring you back to home to where you are. Particularly helpful and very, very useful if you're on the move and you're looking at this mobile. When you hit the refines and those down at the bottom, it has these very handy little sliders, which again, for a mobile device, I think is very, very key. I don't like having to pick numbers and type in numbers. I don't want my keyboard popping up when I'm looking at this. So I can search and refine very easily. Boom, there we go, now we're back. It defaults back to the list view to get back to the map. There I am again. So I really like those types of features. I really look for the sliders because I think they're very, very easy to use. But uh, being able to put all of those things together is very, very helpful. Now heading back all the way to the home page, this is the other feature that I really, really love, and I use this uh, quite frequently, is the open house button down in the bottom right. When you hit the open house button, it shows the open houses that are scheduled in the area where you are for the upcoming week and upcoming week. Now you can see it gives the specifics about when it is and when they are. This again is a very important feature if you're out and about, but this is a mobile app. Now how that can help you is it you try to plan to get to all these different places, but then you don't end up having enough time to do that. This is a really easy way to go, you know what, there's an open house very near us right now. We're not going to make it all the way across the county or across town to get to that other one. Let's go to this one right now. So then you just click on that information and it shows you uh, for that house when the open house is, give you directions on how to get there, and all of those functions work very, very well. On to things I don't like. I don't like the fact that you have to log in and create an account with a password 
in order to save searches. Now I don't like having to do that because it's just clumsy. I just want to save it. And a lot of the other apps that we'll get into in, other, in future reviews are, do give you that option, that capability to log in with Facebook or log in with uh, Google Plus or something to that effect, which again simplifies the process from where I'm sitting. The other part, and that involves the actual listings themselves. If you look at, and I'll just stop this here and click on the details for this particular one, all the information is fairly straightforward of what it is and year built, and it gives much of the same information that you'll find on other places. You know, the basic standard issue stuff. What it does not have is the days on market or the days in the system. I like that feature because it kind of tells me a little bit about what may be going on with the house. And as you go through a home search, as you saw from just a big blanket search, if you go all the way back out to the map and find nearby homes, the first thing that you're going to notice is the quantity of them. Now all of these homes can't possibly be the right home for you when you're searching. So the first thing you start doing is narrowing down the homes that you can see. And some of the indicators that you use oftentimes is how long has this home been on the market because maybe something's wrong with it, maybe something else is going on. It just doesn't give you that warm and fuzzy feeling about a home that's been on the market. First thing you're thinking is it's overpriced. This app doesn't do that, doesn't show that, and that I'm not a big fan. One of the other features that I do not particularly like, uh, the share app button is fine. It, it, it seems to go okay. But if you go to a particular listing and you just want to take this one listing right here and you want to share it using that button down at the bottom right, what happens is nice. I like the fact that it gives you the option of Facebook, Twitter, email, or text. The problem about it is when you do the Facebook, for instance, is it takes you externally. It takes you outside of the app. So, okay, I changed my mind. I don't want to do this. Um, I hit cancel, but it goes back to my Facebook homepage, or at least tries to. And now I have to log back out of that, then go back into the app. So the bottom line with this particular app is, I really like it because of its ease of use right from this home page. It gives you everything that you need and very simple, nice big buttons when you're sitting there looking at your individual screen. Now how that can help you is if you're on the move and you're looking at properties, whether you're going through open houses or you're just touring a neighborhood for the first time, trying to find out where you might like to live, this is very useful and very helpful using it on the go. I use it on the go as my predominant go-to because of the simplicity of it, because of the ability to draw easily and make those maps and very much refine my search to what I'm looking for in the immediate area around me. Really quickly, I wanted to give you a few minutes about the KW iPad version of this particular app. You'll notice right away that some of the features are a little bit different. Instead of having just little red flags, it actually puts a picture uh, of the home on the little red flag on the map. The, also, the listing is, has changed a little bit. It does that landscape view of this entire thing versus the other. It also adds the ability to do a satellite image and what they call kind of a hybrid, which does a little bit of both. It kind of gives the street names and some of the other. It has a sortable lists that are easy to use where you can sort from price, low to high, high to low. Uh, do that pretty quickly. Same sliders when it comes to all the other pieces and portions of it. I like all of those. Also has a point of interest feature. Now because we're out uh, in a pretty rural area with not a lot of stuff going on, as you can probably see from that satellite image, the not a lot of things are going to show up when it comes to restaurants and shopping and those types of things. If you would like to check out this app, I will put the link to it down at the bottom. It will again be branded through me. It'll have my contact information as your local agent. You're certainly free and willing to change that if you like. But again, if you're using this on the go and you want a very good tool that'll help you search things from where you are and find open houses and nearby homes and has an easy draw and slider feature, then this is a great app for you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please do us a favor and hit the like button or the subscribe button at the bottom. If you have any comments, we'd love to hear those as well. Positive, negative, we'd love to hear, you we'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for upcoming videos where I'm going to review more apps from Zillow to Trulia to Redfin. We're going to go through each one, give the positive features that I like, the ones that I don't like, and whether or not I would recommend this app and why. Again, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe below. See you next time.
it didn't like my finger gestures. Okay. Don't do this while you are driving. 